going to talk about today is a design flaw in the earlier designs of the Sturmey Archer 3 speed that would allow the hub to slip out of gear between second and third gear. And uh, then we're going to look at the redesign uh, that they have uh, come up with to address this issue. The redesign model is called the NIG for no in-between gear. Now, first uh, an understanding of uh, how a three-speed functions would uh, be helpful in order to understand what we're going to talk about here. I will uh, insert a link to a previously made video of how the three-speed Sturmey Archer works. I'll put the link at the top of the screen and I'll leave it there for the duration of the video so that at any time uh, you can click on that video and go watch it. Uh, that link will be there right up until the end of the video. So click on it at any time. Alright, so in the older designed hubs the input uh, driver had four prongs uh, or four slots depending on which way you look at it and the power was transmitted into the hub by means of a star clutch which was driven by the, uh, the prongs on the driver. Now the function of the star clutch was uh, that, that this was the part that was moved as you shifted gears so that what happened in, uh, as we explained in the other video, I won't go into detail here, but uh, basically your three positions are uh, fully retracted as first gear, the middle position is second gear, and in third gear the star clutch engages the pins on the planet carrier, and in the first two gears the star clutch drives the ring gear. Now, between the point where it leaves engagement of the ring gear and engages the planet pins, there is a very narrow window where there is no power transmitted. So, uh, in the case of um, improperly adjusted shift cable, uh, let's say if the cable was adjusted slightly too slack, in the second gear position on the shifter, the clutch would actually go to the in-between in position and you'd get a false neutral so that you'd be pedaling along, you shift from uh, first to second and uh, the clutch would slip out of engagement with the ring gear and slip into neutral and you'd be freewheeling. Another issue that has been documented is um, when third gear is selected and engaged in the case of hard pedaling, like a strong rider riding on hills or whatever, that the uh, clutch could actually slip out of engagement with the planet pins. Uh, this would more likely happen after some significant wear of the hub. And, uh, you know, this could be a case where injury, injury could happen uh, to a rider that was pedaling hard and slipped off the pins and suddenly free wheels and uh, next thing you know, uh, parts of your body are meeting the top tube of the bike with considerable force. So Sturmey Archer addressed this with a redesign. Now the redesign primarily focuses around the driver and the clutch. Uh, the hub essentially works the same, but now uh, where previously we had a four-pronged driver, now the new driver has uh, spring-loaded pawls so that the pawls on the driver are what drive the ring gear rather than the clutch driving the ring gear. Okay, so that as you pedal, those pawls engage the ring gear and drive it. The clutch is a completely different looking animal from the previous star clutch and it mates with splines inside the driver Okay, so that uh, the driver is always turning the clutch. Now the clutch uh, really only has two functions. 
number one, when it's fully retracted in the first gear position, it uh, retracts the pawls so that the pawls on the ring gear do not drive the, um, uh, the ball ring. And then in third gear position, when it's allowed to drop onto the uh, planet carrier, Okay, you see the uh, cutouts in there. They mate with the planet uh, pins and transmit the power to the planet carrier. So the two functions of the clutch are in the fully retracted position to retract the, uh, the pulse and in the fully advanced position to transmit the power to the planet carrier. So what we have in effect is uh, basically a fail-safe system. Uh, when um, third gear is engaged, all right, when the clutch has engaged the planet carrier and the uh, power flow uh, goes from the driver to the planet carrier to the ring gear and the ring gear is outrunning this, the ring gear will ratchet over these poles. So you'll hear a more pronounced uh, ticking sound in third than you did in second. Uh, that is unique to this redesign. The older hub didn't do that because it didn't have these pulls. But in the event that third gear fails to engage properly, or if it slips out of third gear, these pulls are still driving the ring gear. So at the very least, you will, uh, rather than freewheeling, uh, you will only revert to second gear. It, it, won't, uh, it won't completely slip out of gear. So uh, should the clutch uh, fail to properly engage on the pins for whatever reason, uh, then um, rather than totally freewheeling, the pawls will still continue to drive the ring gear and the ring gear pawls will drive the hub shell, so you will at least have second gear. So that is uh, the NIG or no in-between gear redesign.